Good contact. Knocked down by Loomer. Makes it. This is the tag to throw. And Dybo gets there in time. We welcome you to Mercier for this matchup between the 201 Gahnawagi Warhawks number one and the Mercier Rays. The Warhawks wearing red with black and white trim, and they will be sending up a lineup to face Raphael Obu for at least the first inning. They're going to have a lineup featuring Lexi LeClaire, Jackson Norton, Sago Nigarawi, Staibo, Callan, Stacy, Russell Dahoe, Gabriel, Wadet Sansuri, Yusta Thompson. James, Stacy Cage, Stacy Daly Lazar, and lastly Carter Snow. Uh, the dimensions here in Mercy, it's 215 feet right along the foul pole, 205 feet to right, and then 221 to straightaway center. Much more of a home run friendly ballpark than the uh, hospital ball field is. But it's a little bit more, it's a little bit less shallow than Maddie's Park, if you want the honest uh, truth. Uh, taking a look at the Rays defensively, of course we have Obu starting at shortstop. It appears we have Colin LaBelle wearing number 5. Second base it's Adam Godia wearing number 9. Wearing 34 and playing first is Jesse Boulay. And then in left, here in right field we have number 55 who is Darius Noel. And here is the first batter coming up for the Warhawks. By the way, Mateo Sidrik wearing 27 is at third and we are underway play ball as they say I had a little bit of a delay before the game but now we're good to go we're right in right field right underneath the shade which is good on this uh, 37 degree day with that's of course if you're including the humi uh, humidity ball one to Leclerc Warhawks of course 15-5 winners yesterday against the Shattagy Blue Sox Wobu sets taking his time on the mound and here's the 1-0 delivery. As uh, we have a little bit of delay, first base coach Lee Snow has to go in to fix the dirt in front of first base. 1-1 the count. That one will miss and go to the backstop, 2-1. Matias Forte wearing 10 is the catcher for the Rays. Anthony Seymour playing in center. Here's the 2-1. There's a cut and a miss. Two balls, two strikes here on uh, Lexi Leclerc. Obu delivering. That is in there. Oh, sorry, that loads the count. Three balls, two strikes. I thought I heard Prees on one of the pitches. Three balls, two strikes. The full count offering right here. That is in there for a called strike three. We'll clear down on strikes. That's the first out, and here comes Jackson Norton. Jackson only one official at bat yesterday struck out, but drew three walks and scored three runs in that 15-5 win against the Blue Sox. Outside for ball one. Warhawks in the red with black trim. Mercy in the dark blue with yellow trim. Oh, and that's going to be a take your base. So Jackson Dorton on base for the fourth time in his last five at-bats. Getting hit by a pitch. It's a noble art. Nobody wants to get clunked. And speaking of ball games, boy, did this gentleman right here have a fine game yesterday. Sogo Nigurawi Staibo, a 4-for-4, four four, 6 RBI performance yesterday in the win against the Shattagy Blue Sox. And that one shot to right field. It's scooped up. 
And that'll put runners on first and second. And Sago Nigarawi's Daibo has gotten a hit in his last seven at-bats, dating back to the game against the Warhawks, too. Good scoop in right field, however, by uh, Noel, 55. So here comes Khaled Stacy. Takes a check swing called strike. It's 0 and 1. Runners on first and second for the Warhawks. And that one's going to miss. And Jackson Norton decides not to go for third. Ross Leclerc, the third base coach. Without awareness there as the ball actually came back in front of the catcher. And that's in the dirt. He's going here. And runners are now on second and third. So both runners have moved into the scoring position for the Warhawks. Now, instead of any base, it is now plays at first for the Rays. Two and one on Cal and Stacy here in this PWB matchup. Warhawks looking to get on the board. And that's fouled back. It's two and two. Debat Dupree says the ump. As far as I believe. Obir winds up. And that one chopped into foul territory, and that's something we're going to have to be alert for because that ball might come our way. No gate here protecting us along the, the line in right field. That one misses. It's a full count now on Stacy. Rasandahoe Gabriel on the on deck circle for the Warhawks. Please know letting the uh, second player on second know Sagunira was able that he does not necessarily need to run. And he's not going to have to. It's ball four. So Cal and Stacy will take his base. The sacks are now loaded. And here comes Gabriel. So that's on the way Gabriel stepping in for the Warhawks. And he sends a shot to shallow right and fouled. Shallow left, sorry. I would move that truck if I was the worker for Mercier right now. <laughs> City worker for Mercy in the white truck. If I could move it, I would move it. We've seen uh, Lee Snow's life flash before his eyes yesterday when his truck almost got beamed by a foul ball. That one's upstairs, one and one. Actually, he did tell me afterwards it wasn't really that close. There's the one one. And that one popped up in the infield, and that'll go foul behind the Mercier bench. And now it's a, bat, a pitcher's count one ball, two strikes on Gabriel. But that's Thompson on the on-deck circle for the Warhawks. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes here on Russell Dahoe Gabriel. Oh, that one just missed. Three balls, two strikes. And it's a full count. Warhawks threatening a score here in the top of the first. Gatnawage zero, Mercier zero. And there's a cut and a miss for strike three. The bases are loaded, and here comes what well, that's Thompson. Yesterday in that win against the Blue Sox. She was 0 for 2 with a couple of strikeouts, a walk, and a run scored. James Stacy on the on deck circle for the Warhawks. Cade Stacy would follow him. And that one sent up the gut, scooped at second, and there is the play by the shortstop. Call him the bell. The Warhawks not able to score a run.
And that does it for the top of the first. Warhawks, no score. Rays coming up the bat. You're watching Baby Blue Memories. Welcome back to the park in Mercy. Bottom of the first. No score here in this Pee Wee B matchup on uh, Baby Blue Memories. Sir Wad Division. The Warhawks 2 0 oh, 1. Left the bases loaded in the top of the first and were not able to score. Let's take a look at where the Warhawks are stationed defensively. Sago Nigarawis Daibo behind home plate. At first, we see Thompson at short. We see Stacy or Callan Stacy. Second, we see Kane Stacy at third. We have Leclerc. Right field, we have Snow. Or left field, we have Snow. Center field, we have Norton. In right, we have Lazar. And on the mound is James Stacy facing a lineup which features Adam Godillo, Colin LaBelle, and Rafael Obu. One, two, three. That'll be the first three. That's ball one called on Godillo. That's in there as it makes its way into the strike zone. One ball, one strike from Stacy. So Carter Snow and Russell Dahoe Gabriel will not be able to pitch today as you're not allowed to pitch back-to-back -back days. That one shot into center. That's going to fall. Base hit. Good scoop at center by Norton. And they're going to hold him at first. It's a leadoff single for Godio. Good scoop at center by Jackson Norton. And now the Warhawks will be hoping to get what they got yesterday, which was a 4-3 double play. 5-4-3 double play. Uh, call on the bell, steps in, takes ball one upstairs. Rays trying to get in business here in the bottom of the first. No score between they and the Warhawks one. And now the runner's going for it. And Sugganigard always throws it into right. They're going for third. Here's a throw to third base. And it got it got away. Good throw by the outfielder, but unfortunately, the ball was knocked free. And that one's hit right to Leclerc, who catches it. And no sacrifice made on that. It's out number one, a pop-out to LaBelle. And here comes Rafael Obu, the number three hitter. Runner on third base, one down. That's a big out for the Warhawks, though. Mathieu Cedric on the on-deck circle for the race. And that one's hit on the ground to third. Knocked down, and they got the runner in a run down at home. They throw back to home. And runners will now be on second and third, but... The runner at third was not able to advance home. So now the force is at first. And Cedric is up for the race. Good knockdown at third by Leclerc. And now it's a right-handed batter. It's Cedric. Here's the pitch. Big cut and a miss for strike one. Uh, Stacy sets and delivers the pitch. Whoa, some sweet chin music. Leveling the count at one ball, one strike. Stacy sets. He's not taking much time behind between pitches. He's ready. That's outside and it's two and one. Real change of pace. You've seen the last inning. Ubu really took his time in between pitches. They'll both be slower by the second inning, that's for sure. As ball three comes in. Three and one now. First, James Stacy against Cedric. Anthony Seamart in the on deck circle for the race. The three one. And there's a big cut and strike two. Cedric is looking for it, that's for sure. Stacy looks, delivering. That's in there for a cold strike three. 
What a huge strikeout for James Stacy. And now there are two down. And it's Anthony Seamard. And the play obviously is going to first right now. And it's a left-handed batter, so we got to watch out here too of the Baby Blue Memories area. Because there's no gate to protect us if this one's hit on a rope along the line. Seamard has to get out of the way of that one. It's ball one. Warhawks left the bases loaded in the first. The Rays have runners on second and third here. That one is fouled and that makes it a 1 1 count. I think that's like the fourth ball we went through already. This would never happen at the hospital ball field. Here's the 1 1. Hit on the ground, and it gets through Stacy and into the right field. Snow throws it to second, and the Rays have scored two, and it's 2 nothing Mercier. And now Forte steps in for Mercier. That sunshine is... A big factor right now for the infielders and maybe Lazar in the right, the left, right field. And that one's hit, fouled. Read at us. Hey. Hey. That's what you call up close and personal. You're only going to get that action here on Baby Boo Memories. There's Seamard, or sorry, Forte sent us a gentle reminder to watch out. So did uh, Coach LeClaire before the game saying, keep your eye on the ball. Right now it's an 0-2. It's 0-2 the count, so a good lead for Stacy. Trying to get out of this inning, just giving up two on the ground. And it gets through the right side. It's a base hit. Picked up by Norton. He's going to throw to second. And runners are on the corners for the Rays. And third base took a beating. Runners on the corners for Mercy. Yes. Two nothing lead for the race. And stepping into bat is Yon Deschamps. Another left-handed batter. Forte on first. Seymour on third. Two nothing raise. Here's the one on first pitch. And a check swing called strike one. They're going to throw to second, and Stacy. Uh, good throw by the catcher, Sagunigarawi Staibo. If, makes it runners on second and third now for the race. That's strike two, and it's a one two count. James Stacy trying to get out of this inning with his team down by only two runs. The one two. Fouled back, and a good job here by Deshan to fight that one off and keep the bat at uh, the at bat at alive. One, two. Here it is, and that's strike three. So the Rays score two, but the Warhawks prevent more from coming in. Coming up the bat for Gahnawagi, two Stacys, James and Kate, and then Daly Lazar. And we're back here at the ballpark in Mercier. The Rays up by a score of 2 0. Warhawks coming up to bat. Led by James Stacy, Kate Stacy, and Daly Lazar. And here is James, the starting pitcher today's game. Going up for the Warhawks. Against Obu. Here's the pitch. That one one hops the plate. Ball one. Hey. 
Here's the pitch. Low and it's 2-0 and, oh, and this is where things are really going to get interesting because it's the second inning of work for both pitchers and both pitchers just faced seven batters apiece. It's this one's popped up into a right foul ball and it'll be strike one. But if he was able to hit that one more on the line, right left field is wide open down that line. Opposite field batting. We've seen that in the bait with the base hit by uh, Dybul, the triple yesterday. That uh, opposite field batting could be key. And that one hit to second, scooped up. The throw to first is in time, and that'll be out number one here in the top of the second. 4-3. And that is the first out. And now Kate Stacy steps in the bat. Here's the pitch to Stacy. One hopper makes it ball one. It's the second row game of the year for the Warhawks. One, their last game, they tied the Red Sox 7-7. And that's going to go upstairs and make it a 2-0 count. Daly Lazar on the on-deck circle for the Hawks. That's in there, called strike one, it's 2-1. and one. That's called strike two right on the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes from Obu. So he's come back in this at bat to even it, even the count at two balls, two strikes after falling behind 2 0. Oh. That one misses low and it's three balls, two strikes. Full count here on Kate Stacy. That one misses the strike zone, and Stacy has a walk. And here comes Daly Lazar yesterday in that game against Shadagi. 0 for 2 with a sacrifice ground out. Grounded out into an RBI. And he gets a hold of one here to short. They played a second one, and the play not available. And that is out number two. And Carter Snow will now step up. And now Carter Snow will step in. Snow had a single and drove in a run yesterday. Number 10 hitter, so now the leadoff hitter, Lexi LeClaire, is on deck. Warhawks down by two. That's ball one on snow. And that's a cut and a called strike one after the swing and miss. One ball, one strike on Carter Snow. And that one's going to miss. And Lazar's not going to go for it, so it's two and one. So you got Daly hit that one right at the shortstop. And that one was drilled on a rope, but unfortunately right at him. And this one's fouled back. It's going to get out of play, hit the top of the roof, and make this a two-ball, two-strike count. Now he drilled that one, but right at Colleen LaBelle. Here's the 2-2 on the way, the delivery. One hops the bag, Lazar going to second, they throw. 
And Lazar has taken second base, so the first potential first run of the game moves it to scoring position for the Hawks. And Carter Snow with an RBI opportunity. And that is ball four to Snow, and now runners are on first and second for the Hawks. Lexi LeClaire set to bat, 0 for 1, struck out back in the top of the first, trying to get some revenge here on Obu. The bitch. Check swing turned into more of like a half swing at strike one and 0 and 1. There's strike two as a changeup fools Lexi here, and it's 0 and 2. Bobut winds up, delivers. That one misses. Ball one. One ball, two strikes. Misses, ball two. Two and two. Lexi extending the bat here. Jackson Orton on deck. The 2 2. And that one runs inside and upstairs. Three balls, two strikes. So she has fought and back here to make this a full count against Obu. Norton on the on deck circle. The 3 2 on the way is called strike three, and that will send us to the bottom of the second raise up to nothing. We welcome you back to the park in Mercier. Two nothing lead for the Rays. Mercier set to bat here in the bottom of the second inning. So a second inning of work for James Stacy on the mound. Cal and Stacy sitting. So Dustin Dahoe Gabriel is moved to short. Everyone else basically in their same spots. Snow, Norton, and Lazar in the outfield. Thompson on first. And now stepping into bat for Mercy is Jesse Boulay. <laughs> so Boulay, MR, Lanceau, and Noel set to bat here in the bottom of the second. On the ground, and that one will trickle foul. Remember, the Warhawks fell behind early in the game yesterday as well against the Blue Sox before rallying. That's in there. Strike two. It's one ball, two strikes. On Boulay. Upstairs, two balls, two strikes. You see the first baseman, Thompson, playing off of the line. Two-two is upstairs, and it loads the count at three balls, two strikes. It's been a hot day today, but I can only imagine what it's like for the players out there in the sun, but we're in shade. And that is ball four, so Bouley ends up coming back in the count. And it is a walk to bring up Lasto wearing 24. Darius Noel on deck. Two-nothing lead for the Rays, another left-handed bat. Strike one, and Dybul throws it. And it is a stolen base for Boulay. Hey, Shimmy, 
That's ball one. Two nothing lead for the Rays. The one one on the way. Two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. That's in there, and it's now two balls, two strikes. Here's the 2 2 on the way. On the ground to short. It gets through Gabriel and into right left field. Snow picks it up. He throws it in the second. The ball gets away and it goes back to the pitcher. And the Rays are up by three. And here comes Noel. That is the second time. Which the ball was hit to short, and unfortunately, the Warhawks were not able to corral it. And now the run going to second. Here's the throw. He's out. He's out. What a throw by Dybo, and what a tag by Stacy. Lasto caught stealing, and and maybe that might be what the Warhawks need here. That's a strike. So there's now nobody on after the pickoff by Dybo. That one misses the strike zone. Warhawks one trailing this one by a score of three to nothing. There's one out. Nobody on. The Rays have scored one here in the bottom of the second. There's a cut and a miss. So one more strike from Stacy would make it two outs, and Ronnie Stacy is going to come see his pitcher. That was brief. Here's the pitch. That, that misses. James Stacy winds up. Here's the pitch. That's in there for a call strike three and two down here in the bottom of the second with the top of the lineup set to come up in Adam Godio. One for one, singled and scored back in the first. And it's a left-handed batter. Here's the pitch. Whoa! I think James, James Stacy pitches that one and that ball forced Godio to come off the bag. Ball one. And now it's swung and hit along the line and fair. Snow hustling. It gets caught and that's a ground rule double. That is a ground rule double for Godio. So he's going to have to stay at second. As it got caught in the Mercier got caught in the Mercier makeshift dugout since of course they're not using dugouts right now due to the social distancing factor. Here comes LaBelle. He popped out back in the bottom of the first inning. That one's upstairs. Ball one. That was an opposite field hit. A bloop double and... That is a strike, and Sago Nigarawis Daibo has a look at second and third. 
Godillo decides to back up. Here's the 1-1. One, one. On the ground to short. What a stop! And now they got him in a rundown. The throw to third. They got Godio in a rundown. They throw it back. Stacy throws it to third. And they got him tap. And he runs out. One second. Get on your back. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job. And uh, that is called interference on the Warhawks. You got to make sure that you're not interfering with the line. So runners are on the corners here for the Rays. What a stop by Gabriel, though. And he's going to be tested here. What a stop! And he tags it. And that is the third out, so the Warhawks give up only one. A couple of hot plays at short by Gabriel. 3 nothing. Mercy. We're coming back with the top of the third. We welcome you back to Mercier, top of the third. Warhawks trailing the Rays by a score of three to nothing, and a new pitcher stepping in for Mercier. That'll be uh, Anthony Seymard, and he will face the two, three, and four hitters. Jackson Norton, who was hit by a pitch back in the first inning. So we need always dive and then Cal and Stacy, two, three, four, in the Warhawks lineup. Here we go. That's called strike one. Good pitch. Welcome to the game, at least uh, as a pitcher. Mr. Seymard, it's 0-1. So okay, so and that one fouled into the mitt, strike two. 0-2. So Norton has fallen into an 0-2 hole. Here's the pitch. In the dirt, one ball, two strikes. The one, two. Two balls, two strikes. Jackson, I know, is a golfer. If he brought out the pitching wedge, he might have sent that about 200 yards, but... Well, who hits a pitching wedge 200 yards? Maybe his old man. And look out! Oh, he got hit again! He's a baseball ma magnet. And that is the third time he's been hit by a pitch this season already. Warhawks have a runner aboard, and here comes Daibo, who has been red hot. The cleanup batter for the Warhawks today. Take strike one. Good pitch by Seymard. Making it an 0 1 count. And that's cool. The 0 1. Misses the bag, and here comes Norton to second. There will not be a throw, so Jackson Norton is aboard. Second base. Single, uh, sorry, hit by a pitch, and now has moved over to second. Cal and Stacy on the on-deck circle for the Warhawks. That one misses. Norton thinking about it, but he's going to back up. Ross will clear the third base coast, making sure that in order for Jackson to go, it's going to have to be a really good one. Here's the pitch. There's a cut and a miss. Slugan Nicaragua was going for the home run. <laughs> Wanted to make up for not getting the cycle yesterday. He was a homer short. And that one misses, and now Norton's taking off. He's going to back up, though. Good job by uh, Coach Ross and Claire on third, and Norton to communicate well on that one. 
Good job by Fortin behind the bag as well, and Daibo misses. It's strike three and out one. And Callan Stacy is now at bat. One down in the top of the third. That one misses, ball one. Top of the third, Warhawks number one trailing by a score of three to nothing against the Mercier Rays. And he looks at strike one, one ball, one strike. And that's in the dirt, it misses. Jackson, back. Okay, don't hesitate, Jackson. Make sure now you had that, stand it up. Jackson Norton playing a little cat and mouse game with uh, the catcher, Forte. That's in there, a check swing called strike. Here's a 2-2. That misses, and now Norton's going. And he's in standing up, so he's made it to third. Well, Warhawks need a run here. This is, honestly, they need a run. If they want a fighting chance in this game, they're going to have to get at least one here and then hold the fort in the next inning. Callan will take it. It'll make runners on the corners here for John Hawage. Second time. I think, I think it was ball four. The Sandahoe Gabriel will step in. He struck out back in the first. Okay, get a helmet on. Ball one. One and oh. Runners on the corners. The tying runs at home right now for the Warhawks, trailing three nothing. That's in the dirt, and now Callan's gonna go to second. The throw, and he is standing up. Runners on second and third for the Warhawks. So now first base is open. For us on Dahoe, Gabriel. That misses. And, uh, that's not that way, Gabriel asking Seymour to let him hit. And uh, the coach for the race will step in. Don't forget, tomorrow we have Bantam B action, and then next Monday in Gahnawagi, the Warhawks won. This very same team will play host to the St. Martin Orioles. We will also have that game for you. Life's not normal, but sports are at least back for the time being. And Gabriel is going to have to get out of the way here, and he will take his base. And the bases are loaded. Shorts are back to normal. i got to watch my Detroit Tigers after this, as they may only lose 50 games this year. It's only 60 games in MLB this year, but hey. They go 10 and 50, I would not be surprised. And now here comes Thompson with the bases loaded and one out for Gahnawage. Pitch from Seamard. Misses, one and oh. Well, that's Hunter Diosta, by the way, grounded out to end a threat back in the first. One out. Seymard loads up and deals. Oh, and she knew she chased something out of the strike zone there. It's one ball, one strike. The 1-1 one, one. is in there for a called strike. It's one and two. 
James Stacy on the on deck circle for the Warhawks. Here's the one two. And that's strike three. And there are two down. And it'll come up to James Stacy who represents the go ahead run right now. Warhawks down by three, three nothing. That one's fouled back. The windup and the delivery will miss. James Stacy struck out back in the second. That one is low and outside. Two and one. Three balls and a strike. So a ball will force in a run for the Warhawks. James has a pitcher, a batter friendly count right now. The 3 1. Ball four, and that forces in a run, and the Warhawks are on the board. Carter. And here comes Cade Stacy. He walked back in the second. So Gondolage has scored. That one misses ball one from Seamard. Mercy three, Gonhawage Warhawks number one have one run. They just scored it. That's called the strike. It's one and one. Warhawks trailing three to one here against the Mercier Rays in the top of the third. That's called a strike on the corner. It's one and two. Warhawks down to the last strike here in the top of the third. Trailing three to one. Bases are loaded. The wind up and the delivery. That one misses. Two and two. Rays leading the Warhawks 3-1 in the top of the third inning. Mercy scored two in the first, one in the last inning. And of course are set to bat after this inning. That will one hop the bag and it is a full count on Cade. Three balls, two strikes. Daly Lazar is on deck for the Warhawks. Yeah, Daly! The 3 2. It's in there for a called strike three. And we're coming back with the bottom of the third race three, Warhawks one. We're back with the bottom of the third inning. The Mercier Rays on top of the Gothenwagi Warhawks 3-1 in Pee Wee B action. Part of the lineup for Mercier do up with Obu, Cedric, and then Anthony Seamard. And a new pitcher. Well, that sounds like Justa Thompson set to pitch. And now Hassan Gabriel has actually moved to first. 
Kate Stacy at second, Callan at short. Lexi still at third. Here's Obu with the first pitch. Skied into foul territory. And that one goes off the top of the roof. Strike one. Oh and one. And now here comes the ball. That was just hit. I wonder how many baseballs coaches go through here. You're gonna have to ask Ronnie after this. The 0-1. He's lobbed in there for a strike two. It's one of those flutter balls that got into the strike zone. Expecting a fastball and you get that. And that one roped it to center field. Norton with the stop. Good stop. And it's a leadoff single for the Rays. It's actually Cedric who got the hit. Carter, get away. So now Seamard will step in. One for one. Single that drove in a run back in the first. Ball one. Well, we got some big boys on first base, both for Mercy and for Gonawagi. Tag the runner. Step on first. That's in there. Strike one. Throw it away, though. Every pitch, you get to that place, Dallin. Popped up. And that one will get out of play. One and two on Seamart. Warhawks trailing three to one here in the bottom of the third inning. And you figure because it's 740 that the next inning would likely be the open one. Hit on a rope, it's a right, that's gonna fall. Base hit. Played by Lazar. And runners are on first and second for the Rays. Good stop by Daly out and right. And here comes Mateus Forte, singled. Back in the first inning. Another lefty up here for the Rays. Strike one. And now the runner's gone to third. Runner's on second and third for the race. So Mercy knocking on the door once again here in the bottom of the third inning. Strike two. So Thompson, her off-speed pitches have been very interesting to say the least for the Rays pitcher, uh, batters to crack down. The 0-2. Oh, is that ball one? <laughs> it is, it is ball one. Call the ball. <laughs> one, two. Whoa, no one's laughing after. Forte nearly gets plunked. Two balls, two strikes. Mercier on top of the Warhawks, three to one. Hit foul and look out. I think this is the riskiest spot we will be, we will be filming in this season. We are basically hugging the right field line right now. Right field line, as you can see, right in front of us. You ready, Ross? Coming at you. Right in front where the Warhawks makeshift dugout is. But you see all this open space. Balls hit on a rope. I better duck. 
The 2 2. Oh, and he's plunked. And the bases are now loaded for Nation. The own Nation has struck out back in the first. Another left handed batter. Any base. Danny Ross, step on the bag, tag the runner, go home. Triple play. Ball one. That'll be ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Mercy leading this one three to one. They potentially could break it open with the open inning coming up next. Ball three. That is called the strike. Three and one. Ready, Russ? Comes at you. Tag, step, roll. Strike two, and it's a full count. Three balls, two strikes. Bases are loaded. Oh, it's always been everyone's dream, really, to, to be batting with the bases loaded, hasn't it? And now it's a full count. The 3 2. Ball four. And the Rays have taken a 4 to 1 lead. And here comes Jesse Boulay. This is a left-handed heavy lineup for the race. Daly coming at you. Ball one. Here's the pitch. Fouled back and it's one and one. And that one's hit on a rope into right field. Knocked down by Carter. One run scores and a second run is trembling home. And the Rays. Up the lead to five. It's six to one here in the bottom of the third. A two run single for Boulay, six one the score. And here comes Lasto. Another left handed batter for the race. Ball one in the dirt. Runners on first and second. Don't forget, coming up tomorrow, Bantam B baseball action. The Warhawks will be at home. We'll have that for you. And then Monday, the Warhawks will host the Orioles of St. Martin. There's a one hopper that goes to second. Or one hopper to home. We believe we'll be doing the midget game as well. We will have to get word on that from the parents. 
But we are doing the 10 o'clock game, and I think we are doing the 1 o'clock game as well. So it's a doubleheader tomorrow. That one's hit right there. Caught. Good job by Thompson for out one. A comebacker scooped up by Thompson for the first out of the inning. And here comes Darius Noel struck out back in the second. Uh, now the first right-handed batter we've seen from Mercier in a long time, it feels like. Ball one. 6-1 is the score in favor of the race. That's a strike, and it's one and one. A ball on the strike. The wind up. And here's the pitch from Thompson. Strike two. And it's a ball and two strikes. Warhawks coming in two, two wins and a tie thus far in the season. That is called a strike three, and it is the second out here in the bottom of the third. Runners are on first and second, and here comes Godio. He has been on fire for the Rays, a single and a run scored, a double as well here in this one. Rays leading the six to one. Ooh, upstairs, one and oh. As the sun begins to set here in Mercier, the pitch. Outside, 2 0. Oh. And Godio is going to have to dodge this one. Ball three, 3 0. Oh. Three balls, no strikes. Thompson in a 3-0 hole. Here's the pitch. And that one's popped up. Right in front of the Mercier dugout. It's strike one. Three balls and a strike. Well, Godillo must have really wanted that one swinging on 3-0. and I always thought my coach would get super mad at me if I swung on that. Here's a 3-1. Fouled to the catcher. It's a fair ball, and they get the fort ground out. So a 2-3 to end this inning. The Rays score three. It's 6-1, coming back with the top of the fourth. One last chance for the Warhawks. All right, we're back here at the park in Mercy, the open inning. So one last chance for Romax for the Warhawks. They need to score at least five to tie. That is a check swing called ball one. Uh, the leadoff hitter in this inning, Daly Lazar. Had a fielder's choice back in the second. Here is the 1 0. That one will miss. New pitcher, by the way, for Mercy. Jesse Boulay in there to try and close the door on this one. Warhawks trailing 6 to 1. Here's the 2 0. In the dirt. And it one hops the catcher, so it's 3 0. Carter Snow on deck for the Warhawks. And that 
one hit up the gut. That's going to get through to center. It is a base hit. And Daly Lazar aboard with a single, swinging on the 3-0, and the Warhawks have a runner on to start the top of the fourth. And now stepping into bat is Carter Snow. Warhawks down 6-1. to one. Can only score a few at a time, though. Well, I mean, if the bases are loaded, you could hip hypothetically score four. At strike one on Snow. Drew a walk back in the second. Boulay ahead on the count here, 0-1. Runner out first, nobody out. Here's the pitch. Outside, 1-1. One and one. Lexi LeClaire is on the on-deck circle for Gahnawage. Here's the pitch. Misses and now going to second is Lazar and he will get there without a throw. Good hustle by Lazar and he's on second. Two and one the count on Snow. Right back, it's two and two. Carter was just a little late on that. If he swung maybe a millisecond later, that could have come right towards us, which I guess would still be a foul ball technically, but hey, split second sooner, it would have been fair. The two two. Foul tipped. No, it's not tip, sorry, it's just a strikeout. That's out number one. And here comes LeClaire to, to swing the bat for the Warhawks. She is 0 for 2, struck out in the first, struck out in the third. Runner on second is Daly Lazar. Ball strike one. Daly on. On his toes, but he's not going to go to third. That ball misses. That one's in the dirt. Good stop by Forte back there. Jackson Norton on the on-deck circle. He's been hit by a couple of pitches in this game. That's in there. Right on the corner. Right at the elbows. Here is the pitch. And a semi swing and LeClaire goes down for the second out. And now it is Jackson Norton hit by a pitch in the first, hit by a pitch that scored the lone Warhawks run back in the third. Someone on the bench just said that he's going to get plunked again. Let's see what happens. And there's a semi swing. Strike one. Here's the 0 1 delivery. That's in the dirt. Stopped by Forte. And nobody, or at least Lazar, won't advance. A ball and a strike. That 
that one hops and gets back. Sorry, uh, it's actually Godeo who's behind the bat bag now. Forte has moved. Oh, no, that is Forte still, sorry. Godeo's at second. LaBelle at short. Here's the pitch. That one misses. Three balls and a strike. That one misses. And it is a base on balls for Jackson Norton. He's aboard for a third time today. Runners on first and second, and here comes uh, Sago Nigurawis Daibo. Singled in the first, struck out in the third. Runners on first and second for Ganhawage. Here is the pitch. And he has some chin music. And runners are on second and third for the Warhawks as both Norton and Lazar advance 90 feet. 1-0. On Daibo. In the dirt. 2-0. Cal and Stacy is on the on deck circle for the Warhawks. And it's 3 0 now on Daibo. A walk here would load the bases and put Cal and Stacy at the plate. That's in there and it's three and one. Three balls, one strike on Daibo. That is ball four and the bases are now loaded for the Warhawks. And it is Cal and Stacy stepping in for Ganhawage. A walk would score one. If Callan gets aboard here, Rasan Dahoe Gabriel would represent the potential tying run. Of course, getting aboard and then scoring with no more outs to spare is a little easier said than done. But it is the open inning too. 6-1. That one's high, and it's ball one. Callum, by the way, no official at-bats. He walked both times today. Two and oh. On Stacy. Six to one, advantage Mercy, but the bases are loaded for the Warhawks. The ball misses and it's three and oh on Callan. Mercy up six to one, but the bases are loaded with two outs. Here's the 3-0. Ball four, and that will score a run. It's 6-2. That is the third walk for Callan today. Lazar scores. It's 6-2. Down by four runs are the Warhawks. 
And now the coach is going to come in and talk to Jesse Boule. Russell Ndahoe Gabriel steps in. He's 0 for 1, struck out in the first, walked in the third, and would represent the potential tying run if he can get aboard here. Six to two, Rays leading the Warhawks. And here comes Rasan Dahoy Gabriel. And we have a new pitcher in there for the Rays. We're gonna take a little pause to the cause and come back. We're back, so Cedric is in to try and get the final out of the game. The Rays leading 6-2, to two, but Russell Dahoe Gabriel is stepping in. He represents the potential tying run. Gone Hawaii down 6-2 to two here against Mercier. The pitch. In the dirt, one ball, no strikes. Base is loaded. The Warhawks are down six to two. Thompson's on deck. And he fouls this one straight back, one and one. Tallest player on one team against the tallest player on the other team. Mono e mono here. One ball, one strike, two outs. Gone Hawaii down six to two. But the bases are loaded here with two outs into the final inning. And that is strike two. Gabriel trying to get all of them back on one swing of the bat. And now the Warhawks are down to their final strike here this afternoon. The one two. Low, two and two. Two balls, two strikes. The wind up. Now here's the 2-2 offering. Hit well to short and gets through. And one run has scored. Coming home is another Warhawk. He scores. Two runners are across. It's 6-4. Russell and Dahoway Gabriel keeps the game alive. It's 6-4. Runners on second and third, and now the potential winning run, or at least the leading run, is aboard, and or not aboard, but at the plate. The potential tying run is 180 feet away. 6-4 now for the Rays. Ball one, 1-0 one oh, to Thompson. James Stacy on deck, hoping that he'll get a chance to extend this game. 6-4 lead for Mercier. It's 2-0 on Thompson. Cedric falling behind here, two balls, no strikes. The lead is Mercy A6, Gahnawagi Warhawks number one, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
the tool offering here from Cedric. Outside, and it is three and O. Oh. Thompson grounded out and struck out, so she's over two on the day. Here's the three O -oh offering. Is in there, right down the pipe. Three balls and a strike. Cedric takes his time. That is ball four, and the bases are loaded once again for the wall game. Now James Stacy is aboard. Running on anything. The Warhawks have scored three, but they need to score at least two more. 6-4 Mercier, bases loaded here in the final inning. That is in there for strike one, it's 0-1 on Stacy. Cade Stacy is on the on-deck circle. He's also hoping that he gets a chance to extend this game. Strike. Warhawks are down to their final strike again. The pitch. Not that time. Cedric sets. And here's the delivery. That misses. Two and two. Now Cedric sets. Here's the delivery, the pitch. Is in there for strike three, and the Rays have withstood the Warhawks rally. Go guys, line up on the line. And they have taken this one by a score of six to four. Kanawagi scores three in the last inning, just not enough, however, to overcome a slow start. Mercy takes this one by a final count of six to four. And we're back with a doubleheader tomorrow, Bantam B and Midget A. And then on Monday, this very same Pee Wee B team will be in action taking on the St. Martin Orioles. As the Rays win this one in Mercy by a final count of 6-4 to four against the Warhawks number one. Well, the Warhawks got the tying run 180 feet away from home, but unfortunately, that's where the rally monkey fell short. Here you see Gunawagi lined up along the along the infield. Both teams tipped their hats, and we will see you tomorrow for a doubleheader. We're back with two games on BBM. Until tomorrow, Anna.